Lip injections, facial fillers, a Valley nurse says these popular cosmetic procedures could cause a pretty strange side effect if you get that Moderna vaccine. I guess we'll find out yet or when I go get my vaccine. <laughs> I'll be looking at you. I mean, I'm just saying. Hey, I admit Brandon, it. what's up with you? Ain't no shame in this game. Uh, <laughs> Brittany Thomason spoke to a registered nurse about the reaction to the injection. Thankfully, the nurse tells me that the side effects are rare and they're not very serious, but she's still hearing a ton of concern from patients. Clients were texting me. They were nervous. They were just like, Daniele, I just had my fillers done with you. I am so scared now. Registered nurse Daniele Marcelino understands the fear. As someone who gives injections and gets the procedures herself, hearing it could cause swelling when combined with the Moderna vaccine, made her pause. The study uh, basically pointed out that there were three uh, individuals out of the 30,000 in the study with the vaccine that had some swelling in the areas they've had fillers before. Learning the risk was low, she got the Pfizer vaccine Sunday. That brand has not been linked to the reaction, but Marcelino was still curious how it would go. All right, let's be honest. Yes, of course. I was a little you know, just let me see what's happening. Let me see if I need a little prescription to help improve that. Luckily, she had no facial swelling. Neither did her fillers client, Trina Mallory, who got the Moderna vaccine last week. I think that you can't live in fear of all the possibilities. Just like prepping for procedures, conversations about the COVID-19 vaccine have just become part of Marcelino's job. But she's here to encourage patients to get the vaccine, whether you have injections or not. Getting the vaccine was so much more important at this point, and I knew that any swelling could easily resolve. Brittany Thomason, Arizona's Family.